Hey everybody, I am in Walmart. So I came here for some panko, but I am in the men section. Now right here, it is gonna be $10 on clearance. Uh, definitely not a bad price. You could wear it to work on the weekend. You know, they have all different sizes. This one is gonna be reversible. That is also gonna be 10, all right. Even the long sleeve, really? $7, what, no way. I do like that gray, and I really love this color right here on my husband, I love it. Dickies, okay, utility short flex. Now my son does uh, wear Dickies, and he also likes the Vans, but um, 18.42, and you do have your green. More like golfing shorts. Um, $16.92. They do have it in black. They got plenty of stuff going on in the men department. This one is more like a jean material. Only $11.97 for the George brand. You have your camo, khaki. They do have, you know, like your blue. Uh, not bad, not a bad price at all. $4.97, of course, your opinion matters, just not to me, okay. Uh, I used to be a people person, then people ruined it, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that one's funny down there. Hey, only $5, <laughs> that's not bad. And look, we even have Batman, Marvel, Black Panther, and they do have the Flash. Now these ones over here are going to be $7.88. Space Jam. Oh my gosh, Beavis and Butthead. I used to play a Beavis and Butthead video game. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh look. Oh my gosh, for the homies. That's funny. Oh, look, we got a Rasta cat. <laughs> How funny is that? Coca-Cola. Oh, my goodness. And look, a unicorn keeping it real. Only $7.88. I love this cartoon. Cheech and Chong. Oh, my gosh. I love it. <laughs> the Beatles and Johnny Cash. My son has been listening to a lot of Johnny Cash lately. I don't know why. <laughs> Groovy alien. Look at that cat. He's like king cat. <laughs> and then you have a wolf. Dickie's long sleeve work shirt is going to be 1984. My husband does um, buy this one for work. He actually likes the short sleeve though. You do have your Dickie pants. Buying jeans here, definitely not a bad price. I know my husband sometimes does it. He likes the dark wash. Um, you know, you can find that in JCPenney. JCPenney's brand is like Arizona. Um, $12.78, not bad. But um, one time in the back, like randomly, it ripped, kind of weird. But for $12.78, hey, beats $40, right? They have relax fit and dark wash, regular, and they do have slim if you do like the slim jeans. Carpenters like $20, they're pretty much all like 20 to 21. You need a tie, um, actually there's no price on any of those ties. You know who has lots of good ties? Burlington has plenty like for work. $45, okay. For $15.96, you can get a dress shirt here. We do have it in black and blue. Um, if you're looking for something like this, I would suggest going to Burlington. They have an entire section. And I think they're pretty much $15 to like $25 in Burlington. Wallets are going to be $10. Now you could find every now and then in like um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, 
good uh, Tommy wallet to, for like 10 to 15. Actually, my father-in-law needs a new wallet. I saw um, them the other day and his wallet is like thick where he keeps like everything in there. I think he keeps every receipt. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna have to like go to um, dealers or something like for Father's Day. But look at this George one, okay. It's only 12, it is um, RFID, multi-utility. As seen on TV, is this the one where you can adjust it to any size? It's twenty dollars. Dicky belts are gonna be twelve. George brand. We're looking at some are gonna be seven over here, like the skinny one, like the dress one. Casual and like reversible are gonna be ten. Socks are $6.98. Happy style. We have one with flamingo. You get a three pack. Oh, look at the one with the chili. <laughs> and the chick magnet. Oh my gosh, how funny. Only $1.93. What? That one's actually kind of cute. <laughs> and the dog. Chick magnet. <laughs> they even have a s'mores. Um, I went to a lunch meeting, I think a couple weeks ago, with my husband. And somebody had socks like this on. He was wearing like dress pants and when he was sitting down, you know how your pant leg goes up? This is what they're into now. <laughs> it's funny. Look at that dog one. Oh man. This one's gonna be $6.98. We do offer different patterns. Polo shirts are gonna be $16.92. You have your gray, you are gonna have a blue, and then your black. They also have um, this type of style if you're into it, $16.92. You know, everyone's a little different. Same price over here. It's just not gonna have like the stripe. There's a solid blue, black, and gray. So I need to pick up a pair of, like a pack. I don't know if I should buy a pack or just three individually uh, shirts here for $3. My son needs a plane and he likes um, the black. So we're looking at like $15 and you only get four. So I would save money if I just bought him three single ones, but I don't know. Hmm. This is a multicolor pack and they do have it in the white. Look at these pajama pants. Oh my gosh. $11.97. The one with the tiger. Oh, look at the Black Panther. And the unicorn. Huh. It's a jogger pant for $11.96. Okay. I mean, girls could come in here too. Marvel. Got the Punisher. You know what? I haven't seen the TV show. Um, I think I saw one episode with my son. We have Batman. Harry Potter, Ren and Stimpy. Well, you know, it is Nickelodeon. Or Reptar, Angry Beavers, Rugrats. Oh my gosh. Deadpool at the bottom. Emoji Boxer Brief, uh, $7.96. Look at that fruit one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. We do have the Batman and a Punisher. Now, the Freddy one is what's funny to me. Look, it has a unicorn. Basketball shorts are $6.88. This is what uh, my son likes to get. So I just buy him the plain uh, jersey type. He likes dark colors, so we'll go with blue and um, black. They do have orange and white and red. Men's hikers, okay, they're going to be pretty much $20. Here's what it's going to look like. Um, let's see. Waterproof, okay. A flexible. 
the boot is um is 20. yeah that one's gonna be 20 wow actually maybe not yeah it is this one is gonna be um 29.77 we do have still you know the toe is still <laughs> This one has a zipper on the side. 1997. Let's see. Oil resistant. Slip. And it's going to be leather. I remember when, during the summer, we picked up a job at a pizza place. And we had to buy um, no slip shoes. <laughs> we were drivers. So we were out there delivering pizza. And my husband had to come to Walmart to buy them. Um, steel toe and Noah slip shoes and you could make some pretty good money being a driver um except for when you get people who don't tip you that's annoying this one's going to be waterproof for pretty much 30. this one is 50 dollars it's waterproof steel toe like a little sneaker okay i think this is the type he got and he had to buy shoes. Yeah. <laughs> this one was $30. But anyway, so another thing, another downfall of doing that is when you make a delivery and somebody messed up in the order on like production line and like they're missing a sauce or something or whatever and you're not the one taking it as a driver but as somebody else and they come back they make you take it so you're missing out on delivery and you're missing out on a tip because another driver messed up on delivery i that wasn't fair not fair at all because you're wasting your own gas and you don't get paid so um waterproof uh this one's gonna be 40 40 dollars and then this one is 50. leather wide width okay Dickies, they're asking for seventy a dollars. Wow. You know what? I love the smell of shoes. I know it's weird. My husband loves the smell of leather. <laughs> I like new shoes. The new shoe smell. Uh, this one is sixty dollars. Okay. I think they're all pretty much gonna be like sixty to like um, forty-five to fifty. I don't know if this one has a steel toe doesn't say actually it does now this one is gonna be 75 I'm actually looking for a Dremel um, I have one but it broke no actually it didn't break you know what happened I dropped a candle I had a candle and it was sitting next to it because we were using it for the dog's nails I use it for my dog's nails too and I thought the candle was um off like i thought i already like you know put it out so i went to move the candle and i just went like this and wax boom everywhere all over my wall all over your dremel <laughs> i was like oh great it was a pain to get off the wall i actually had to repaint scrape and repaint um what do we have a grinder is uh pretty much 30 dollars but yes yeah, so we're gonna look for a new dremel i don't know if we're gonna get here if we're gonna go to like home depot or something they get better drummers on these 1873. I'm actually looking for a new drill. So I have like a heavy duty one I keep in like the garage. But I want a smaller one I could keep like inside like in my laundry room. But somebody had a really cool one where the top opened right here and you had all the little bits in it. So you just like turn it. I don't know what it was called. It was but a nice I, uh, cordless one too. Yeah so and it was small easy for around the home. And you don't have to and bust out yeah you don't need to bust out the big one from the garage and i guess they said the battery lasts a good long time too this that's a 60. because some of these they'll eat the battery like nothing oh i know oh my gosh i know same with the dremels but once you've had a dremel for a couple months if you buy one of these these little cheap ones that are like at Walmart for like 30 bucks or whatever, that battery will start dying like nothing. Oh, this one. This is the one yeah. I'm going to replace. We had one like I'm, this and it died. Like even if you charge the battery, it would die like so fast. But this stuff right here is actually good for your dogs, you guys. 
Well, I mean, um, the Dollar Tree used to sell those ones that you know have like the little safety for their nail. It's pretty much the same thing, like the the nail grinder you could find like PetSmart or Petco. They're pretty much the same thing, just you know, the um, speed is like low. But I use the Dremel on my dog, like on low setting or medium. He loves it. I mean, it stinks because you're sanding off the nail. Um, but That's I think nice it tickles him, you know, because he lays on his back. It's really funny. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go to Home Depot. Was that the, the one we had? Something like something that. Something like that, yeah. But they only, but look, they only have the 3,000 here. 14 and 1 hammer uh, multi tool. So 1088. 12 and 1 multi tool. 1088. This stuff is good to have around the house, like in your drawer. Look at that one. A little hatchet. A little hatchet. <laughs> then I remind you of Uncle Buck. <laughs> he goes, Yeah, I got a hatchet in my trunk. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this walkthrough. I need some basketball shorts and a plain uh, shirt for my son. Uh, that is it. So, might as well turn it into a walkthrough, right? They have tires here. Has anybody ever bought tires here in the Walmart? Um, I did have a bad experience in their, like, little mechanic shop here. I needed an oil change, and I needed a, a light fix. And they couldn't do it for some odd reason. It was kind of a waste of my time because I was in here for like 30 minutes. Yeah, we need our head And I'm like, hey, let's go check on the car. They're like, oh, yeah, it's been ready. We weren't unable to do this. I'm like, well, you guys didn't call me? Oh, like, hello. <laughs> All right, you guys. That is it. Thank you so much for following me around the Walmart. And I will see all of you in the next video. $15, so actually no, $25. Look at the doggy one. Little pooch. <laughs>